Lagos State Governor Babajide Songwulu has suspended the reopening of churches, mosques, indefinitely. The governor made the announcement on Tuesday afternoon. He said the decision was informed by the increase in the number of cases in Lagos. We're now joined by Saudu Basharu, who is a Muslim faithful. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. Worship centers were meant to resume today, particularly the mosque in Lagos, based on initial plans. What is your opinion on the state's government rescinding on that um, earlier thought? I, I agree with the state government's decision. Um, first, I'd like to commend uh, the worship centers, the mosque and churches who have put measures in place you know, to curb these uh, COVID uh, spread. However, in uh, just yesterday alone, uh, Nigeria recorded 745 case, cases of uh, COVID with six deaths. These alarming rates was what informed the decision to suspend uh, reopening of this uh, mosque. I think it's better to be safe than to be sorry. So while, while I sympathize with uh, the churches and mosques, I think it's better that this action to stay home and uh, keep the worship centers closed is a lot better. But, than, but there have been uh, some agitation problem. among worshippers that if markets can be open, why are religious centers being shot um, because of the coronavirus? That some of these measures could be implemented. Why can't the decision be made to allow them worship? Well, you can't, compare, you can't compare the activities in the market with that of the church. Uh, churches, is, churches and mosques are impact centers where people interact more. You know, uh, the, what do you call them? The markets are open places. While I also agree they have a point there, but, you know, this is the, the um, what do you call it? The least of both. It, it's very difficult to close the, the market. However... Controlling, uh, it's still within their means to control worship centers because you can, you, can, you can stay at home and worship. You need to buy food, you know, to survive. If they close the, the market, I mean, the situation we're talking about now, a whole lot different. So we should just be patient, you know, to ensure that we get this uh, spread under control. It is going to cause a lot of uh, inconveniences, we understand, but it's better to be safe than to be what was the sense, what was the feeling among uh, faithful um, with the continuous having, uh, con continuing to pray at home and um, separately as against being together? What's the general feeling with this latest announcement from the government? I think it's uh, a lot of disappointment because, like I said, um, at the mosque that I worship, we have put in a lot of measures. Monies have been invested, you know, to ensure that all the uh, uh, safety measures are put in place. However, like I said, with the recent spike that we're seeing, these measures will need to be reviewed. We need to comply with the government uh, directive. So yes, they are not very happy about it because, of course, there are people that also believe that maybe the spiritual angle, we need prayers to uh, combat this spread. You know, yeah, they might be, but I think the government decision is, is the right decision at this time. Uh, what's your general assessment of the level of compliance among citizens to these guidelines, especially with the forecast by the PTF that there is likely to be a spike in cases uh, due to the rainy season? Yes, I, I, and I think this is what predicated the government's decision. The level of compliance has been very poor. If you go around, you see people not wearing their face masks and, you know, their hygiene, all the... Uh, protocols have been set in place. And if we're not careful, I don't pray that we should see the kind of uh, situation we witnessed where we saw in Italy and other places. You know, that is why this rash, rather, or rash decision, you know, has to be taken now. Our people are not complying. So we need to take uh, tough decisions to cover this. Uh, we're optimistic that uh, we will, the restrictions will be released soon enough. Thank you very much uh, for sharing your thoughts on the matter. Thank you for having me.